Greetings, saints. Each day of Holy Week, I'll be looking at the gospel lesson appointed for the day from the Eucharistic lectionary and sharing a very brief reflection. There will also be a reflection question to prompt your thoughts, journaling, and prayers as we journey to Easter Sunday. Today is Tuesday in Holy Week, and our text is John chapter 12, verses 20 to 36. The reading begins with a request. Sir, we wish to see Jesus. And they will, and get so much more. Those who had come for the festival had no doubt heard about Jesus, and so the request gets passed from Philip to Andrew, and then Philip and Andrew both go to tell Jesus, who goes on to expound about all that is to happen, that the hour, the time has come for him to be glorified, meaning the time of death, resurrection, and ascension is now. And Jesus says, those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Indeed, the time is now for us to understand that walking the way of love in Jesus means losing the life to which we may have clung too much in order to embrace a life that dies and rises in Jesus. These days of pandemic have surely sorted some of those things out for me. Much of what I have loved about my way of life has been taken away, revealing quite starkly how deep my dependence on God in Christ really is. And by clinging to this life, I mean not just material goods, like being able to get groceries on demand, so many around the globe have never had that luxury. I mean things like certainty, the physical proximity of friends and loved ones, like being able to come and go to the buildings and places I hold dear. This passage reminds me that the many creature comforts and mental assurances I have come to rely on may have buffered me from encountering Jesus fully. Like disciples, brand new and those who have long been steadfast, I'm called to keep Jesus close, really close, especially when death feels close at hand. Because if death is close, so too is resurrection and ascension. My reflection question of the day is this. Pandemic has forced us to lose many ways of living that had been comfortable. In what ways has that letting go brought you closer to God? Blessings, beloved. In this time and always, may you know the nearness of Christ.